Cops are expected to uphold the law, but what happens when they get put in their place by those above them? Here are four times when idiot cops got embarrassed by higher authority. It's freedom of expression to create in public property. I've been it's public, yes. Yeah, I've been arrested and born in court three times now. Uh -huh. So, I mean, if y'all need to arrest me for it, we can arrest me and then we can I'm go to court to go after that. Far, man. You just have an idea on you? What am I doing wrong, man? Well, we got... I'm creating and it's about to rain and wash it all away. Yeah, okay. that's, that's my concern. That is not right. Could you stop it, please? You just stop, you just stop, okay? This is impermanent, man. This is Officer Jay Breton from the Leon Valley Police Department. On May 15th, 2023, Officer Breton was accompanied by Officer Alan Gonzalez, his trainee officer, when they responded to a call regarding an individual allegedly defacing a public property. As Officer Breton arrived on the scene, they identified a chalk artist as Joshua Leigh Hinson. Watch how the confrontation goes. <laughs> What's up, Papa? How's it going? Good. Good on, man. <laughs> what's, what's all this that we're doing here? So I didn't call us because you've been graffiti. So you don't have a permit. Unfortunately, you get It's freedom of expression to create in public property. I've been it's in public, yes. Yeah. I've been arrested and born in court three times now. Uh -huh. So, I mean, if y'all need to arrest me for it, we can arrest me and then we can I'm go to court to after that. Far, man. You just have an idea on you? What am I doing wrong, man? Well, well, we see, got... I'm creating and it's about to rain and wash it all away. Yeah, okay. that's, that's my concern. That is not right. Could you stop it, please? Could you stop it? Just stop. Okay? This is impermanent, man. Come yep. right here, please. Say what way. Do you have your idea on you, man? Hey, hey, hey the police are out okay, here messing right, with me. I'm Good. just trying to do my sidewalk shot. Hold on, hold on. It's okay. We try to talk to you. You don't listen. We try to be civilized. We want to give you a break. Now you're pushing us to do this. Yes, no, you are. Oh, we're bullying. So, breaking the law. Sidewalk shot. Okay. It's also simple, man. All you have to do is just give me your name and that's it. I told, I told you, I told you I wasn't trying to go this far, all right? Well, you're going this far and you chose to. Yeah. I need my stuff. Go ahead and get it. Huh? We'll go ahead and get it right now for you. What's your name, man? You don't have an ID on you? You want some in my pocket? Can I go ahead and grab it? I mean, I don't well, have I any other thing. choice, do I? Y'all have already helped me for a time. Is it in this wallet right here? Trying to get some tip money off of that or what? Yeah. Gotcha. Trying to create beauty in a public place. As long as you don't have a permit for that. You don't need a permit. No? Okay. You can explain that to the judge, okay? Do you have any weapons on you, man? No. Nah, is anything that's gonna pull or shake me? My backpack, my artwork over there. Alright, man. Do me a favor, just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sit in the back of my patrol car, all right? And then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna go ahead and do, all right? This time you're just detained, you're not free to leave. Okay. I take his phone. These are the elements of the crime, these two. This one, uh, I don't know, this one mine. So evidence, let's take down. Okay. So, so, you, so Okay, we're going to put them? Yeah. For graffiti? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Do you check in, do you frisk him? Yeah, it's just paper. Okay. I haven't taken everything out. Okay. The officers arrest Mr. Hinson and place him inside the cop cruiser. The officers discuss among themselves that they will charge him for graffiti. They then proceed to take him to the police station to book him. Watch how the interaction is about to get embarrassing for the cops when they meet their supervisor, Sergeant Chad Mandry.
graffiti. How much? The whole uh, crossing in the corner, the by the bus stop on the the how do you call it? Marker or what? No, it's chalk. Okay, is that a rest of fence? But yes, because it's chalk, marker, permanent marker, all that stuff. I'm, I'm gonna read the statue again. But, but I wanna give him a, a break. The mark for Cosby has to be in double, meaning not erasable. <laughs> So uh, I don't know, the water is not washing okay, off, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Sergeant Mandry informs Officer Breton that chalk is not considered a permanent marking. He additionally says that this may open the potential for lawsuits from Mr. Hinson against unlawful arrest. Sergeant Mandry thinks as such because it might be a potential violation under the Fourth Amendment. For those who don't know, the Fourth Amendment protects the rights of citizens against unreasonable searches and seizures. Watch how the encounter ends. But chalk, uh, just be careful because chalk is not considered a permanent yeah. marking. Okay. So the I told him, hey, what is this? Lena? I'm gonna give him a break. Hey, just stop. No, no, I, I'm doing art. This is my right. I can do this. You did it on the sidewalk. Or on the sidewalk. Okay. That's probably not gonna be a rest of offense. Yeah, we're gonna check right now. If that is the case, just let him go. That's yeah, double it. check. But tell him be careful because if we bring something <coughs> back here like that, then if we unlawfully detain them, then that opens yeah. up, up for lawsuit. All right, man. So this is our police department. We're just gonna hold you and process all your stuff. Just gonna go ahead and get everything out on your pocket top. Okay. 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 Officer Gonzalez transported Mr. Hinson inside the police station. He was released 30 minutes after his arrest from the detention without being charged or booked. After this incident, Mr. Hinson filed a formal complaint against the officers involved. Officer Breton was removed from his training duties after this incident. Officer Gonzalez faced no consequences after this incident. The city of Leon paid $16,500 to Mr. Hinson to settle the agreement before he filed a lawsuit. If you think this was the only cop embarrassed by higher authority, wait until you watch this next case. Hey, I'm getting screamed at by one of your cops. Who's the chief now? Who's the chief? Uh, yeah, Lynn's still the chief. I got a guy who doesn't who doesn't know who I am. He's just screaming at me to turn around. Incredibly rude. So I'm going to uh, figure out how to report this. He's still the chief until this week. Yeah, yeah, he, he's the chief. Uh, they overlap. Uh, this is Officer Atlee Vogt from the Wichita Police Department on September 24th, 2022. Officer Vogt was barring the mayor of Wichita, Brandon Whipple, from entering a city-sponsored neighborhood cleaning event. Mayor Whipple mistakenly tried to pull into the wrong driveway during the cleanup event at the Machinist Union near Meridian, an I-235. He was driving his beat-up red Ford Ranger and smoking a cigar. The mayor allegedly pointed out that the officer was having a rude demeanor with him before he turned his body camera on. As soon as the camera was turned on, the officer allegedly became calm. Watch what happens when the body camera is turned on, while Officer Vogt interacts with the mayor. Thank you, sir. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Hey, I'm getting screamed at by one of your cops. Who's the chief now? Who's the chief? Uh, yeah. Lynn's still the chief? I got a guy who doesn't who doesn't know who I am. He's just screaming at me to turn around. Incredibly rude. So I'm going to uh, figure out how to report this. He's still the chief until this week? Yeah, yeah. He, he's the chief. Uh, they overlap. Uh, All right. So Lynn's still the chief. So how do I file a complaint against one of our officers? You only have actually BOGT. My ID is 2348, sir. 2348. And this guy just went nuts on me because I turned into a parking lot drone. Yeah, he's right now. He's right down my ID and stuff. He has no idea who I am. Yeah. I know you who you are, Mr. Mayor. Hello, sir. Officer Vote with the Wichita Police Department. How are you, sir? Officer, Officer, this is Bob Lee. Yes, sir. I assume the mayor is trying to get to an event. Yes, sir. And, and that, I, you're with the mayor right now. Yes, sir. Can you let him, can you let him pass? No, I'll go to the I, back I, of the line. My, I, can, my I cannot, is unfortunately. No, there's a line, and there's no signage or anything. It looks like there's a wreck. 
I turned into a neighborhood cleanup, and I called here after this guy told me I'm no longer welcome at the neighborhood cleanup, and that now he is going to be the, uh, I guess, the authority on who can do a neighborhood cleanup and drop things off and can't, which is definitely not what we do at City Hall, and that's why you're on the phone right now, Bob. That's the complaint. Not that I need to go in the back of the line, is that this guy tried to kick me out of what we appropriate for neighborhood cleanups based on his attitude and not on any facts. All right, uh, Mayor, I'm, I vow what I have to All right. Uh, Ma'am, the officer, officer's name again. Officer, vote. Hey, can you spell that, please? Yes, sir, V-O-G-T. Okay, thank you, officer. Okay. And, um, Mayor, where is this happening? This is at the uh, Machinist Hall. There's one of the uh, neighbor cleanups. I got a bunch of stuff from one of my rentals coming through. I noticed that this guy didn't know uh, who I was. I tried to ask him questions, uh, and then also I just wanted to see how he would talk to citizens, and this is how we're being treated. All right, thank you, Mayor. I, I will talk to you. Thank you. Can I get your phone number, sir? You want my number? Yes, sir. I'll be right back with you. Can I unload my stuff? Nope, we don't have any dumpsters to unload it. They are all full. <sighs> Personal property. Mr. Mayor? You? Here's your ID back, sir. Thanks, sir. Did you get a Here's mailer? your ID back, sir. Uh, I got them in my book. I can and check. And then uh, West High is going to be doing one. But Mid October. They, they were supposed to do it October 29th, mm -hmm. and now they moved it to November. Oh, they had to push it back. To the next week. It's the next big one. The others are small. Yeah. But they're a little uh, smaller. Grandview, Meadowlark, Mead are coming up in October. What else is over there? There's another district three. There's three, and I know there's another one. Yeah, there. One of them's over on the E with the east side yeah. neighborhood. I can. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm sorry you felt that I was rude. I didn't recognize you at first. 
but the reason yeah, we're so strict on the rules is, is because it gets right. ridiculous. Right. And, somebody, and somebody else has followed you in immediately, which that's why it amplifies the I problem. That. That's why we try to redirect quickly and as fast as we could. No, I understand. I, okay. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't know what was happening. And then, okay. yeah. There is, yes. I didn't know that line. Was yep. I, I never seen it like that. She said, go ahead, though, if you want to pull up to this first one since you're already in here and get it done. All right. Thank you, yep. Can I give you your ID back, sir? I think so. Okay. Yep. Officer Vught continued to question Mayor Whipple, asking for his phone number and then walking away with his driver's license. Mr. Whipple explained that he believed he was eligible to use the neighborhood cleanup program. He mentioned that he owned the property from which he was dumping items and that he and his wife are clearing the house, which they own, to prepare it for his mother to move in. They do not live in the house themselves. Mayor Whipple and Officer Vought left the scene after this interaction. The mayor did not take any action against Officer Vought. If you think this was the maximum a cop can get embarrassed by higher authority, then you probably haven't heard of this next case. Okay. Can you come? Can you please come over here? You're on. A, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. This is Officer Cameron from the Webster Police Department. On April 22, 2024, Officer Cameron attempted to pull over Monroe County's District Attorney Sandra Dorley when she was driving home from work. Officer Cameron activated his cop cruiser's emergency light and tried to pull her over. Ms. Dorley, instead of stopping her vehicle over, continued to drive and reached her home. Watch what happens when Officer Cameron reaches her residence in an effort to pull her over. Sorry, I'm the DA. I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. Can you come? Can you no, please no, no. come over here? No. You're on. A, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Mm, you you just admitted that. to me that you were going 55 and a 35 can on Phil's Road. Can you please tell him to leave me alone? It's Officer Chris Afoli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? You're this no, is a traffic I'm not this is a this is a here. legal traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Could you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good. Ma'am, can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le ma'am, this is this legal is traffic stop. stop. Can oh. you please stay over here? No. no. Hey baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir. I stopped her for going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road, on Phillips Road. and she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home and parked oh, in her garage, and now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands. Ma'am, do not go inside. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. All right. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic okay. stop. Here's Don't your phone you, back. I understand the law better than you. Would you just Nine five me? three. You Can you have a wrong. supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my house. I don't know right why. Right. I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going. I was okay. Fifty. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. I when my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah. There are other people on the road too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right Can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason you're you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my badge. I am the DA in the, of Monroe County. I just don't understand the hostility towards me. I'm doing my job. No, you're being how am I being an ass? I am the DA in Monroe County. I understand yes, that, but I that doesn't give you a right to go 55 and a 35. And you even admitted to me that you went 50. I understand I really that, ma'am. I don't really I understand care. that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Miss Dorley tries to go inside her house. 
However, Officer Cameron proceeds toward her garage to investigate the matter. The cops later argued that not stopping when the cops asked her to do so was an arrestable offense. Watch how the encounter ends. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're coming home from work. And half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, 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 oh. On hands-free? Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands-free, that's great. But at the end of the day, you're going 55 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Okay, I'm just doing my I job. If you, pulled, the, if you pulled over when you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I okay. thought no one would ever pull a, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't run that. your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Just please. 953, you can have the air back, by the way. Just come outside over here. No, I'm not going outside. Okay. I'm waiting for you just to leave. Well, I'm having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Sorry, if you're coming out with five minutes. Do you have your driver's license? I just showed you my driver's license. Show me your, you show me your badge. Because I was going 55 up towards the end. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. Yep, I know. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was on the phone with Dennis Kohlmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm just almost home? Ma'am, I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. On Phillips Road, yes, you did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. At, at the end, go, go ahead, and, like, listen, you, you wanna, at the like end I of said, the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just stop, I've had a really bad day. I've been dealing with murders And I get it, and I get it. We I, have bad I, days I'm also, sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have okay, bad days also. My license I, I'm going to just add it to the job real quick. Okay, You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. At the end of the day, I was just making a traffic sound, doing my job, what I was supposed yeah. to do. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now, supervisor's on his way, and Who's then we'll go from there. Who's the supervisor's been out here? Huh? Who? Sergeant Johnson. I understand you had it. Like, I get it. I, we all have I'm bad days at work. Yeah, I'm going to go in the house. Seriously. No, this is a traffic stop, and I'm, you yes, out of yes. everyone should know that if there's a legal traffic stop, which I have, I have the right to detain you until this is done. Then just write me the f ticket. I really don't care. Okay. Well, then just hang out at the back of the car. Because I'm the one that's going to prosecute. What? Yeah, like, just give me one second. What's, what's the deal? I'll set me contact over the phone accidental call. What's the deal? You got yeah. it. Ticket? What are you, you going to do? I mean... It's your stop. I'm not going to interfere with that. Yeah. I, mean, so I get clear that ride. she came home. I mean, obviously, if I I'm just makes trying no to, sense. Yeah. I explained that to her. I, it makes like, no sense to come home. She came home. She failed to stop. I mean, it's a arrestable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but yeah. also I want, I don't want to not do my job in, not at least write her something. So no, I, think I get it. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to. I'll at least write her the freaking going 55 and a 20. At the end of the day, I got discretion whether or not. No, I get it. I understand. So. I'm issuing you speed that's, in zone, 55 and a 35. That's fine. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We can have a conversation and be on our way. 
I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what plate it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety so I make it home at the end of the day. Okay? I apologize, but... I, I, I'm sorry that you had a bad day, Yeah. and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. But I would say, here's something else to call Dennis on this. You know the house... Nine-five-two, your radio is completely unreadable. Directly across from what? The stop sign of Phillips Road. A week after this incident, Miss Dorley published a video in which she publicly apologized for her demeanor and informed that she had pled guilty to her speeding violation and had paid the fine. The proceedings of this case are uncertain as several investigations went underway following this incident. If you think was the last cop who got embarrassed by higher authority, then you probably aren't aware of this next case. I recognize you. What's your name? Jim Lucas. Jim Lucas. Where are you coming from? Just walking. You weren't driving a van? No. No van. No van? No you sure? Van. I don't drive a van. Okay, let's step over here. Where, 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 do you live, where do you live at? You're just out for a walk? Mm hmm Okay. You didn't see a van go by with no tires on it? I have no van. This is an officer from the Seymour Police Department. On May 31st, 2023, deputies from the Seymour Police Department responded to a call regarding a truck that struck a guardrail and then proceeded to go the wrong way on an I-65 ramp. When the cops arrived, the truck was already gone, leaving behind a badly damaged guardrail along the interstate, tire tracks, plastic vehicle debris, and a trail of fluid that led north on I-65 before veering south in the wrong direction on the entrance ramp from State Road 11. The cops later found out the driver of the truck who was Indiana representative, Jim Lucas. Mr. Lucas initially told a state trooper that he swerved to avoid a deer and lost control of his truck. Watch how the interrogation follows. Hi. Let's over here. I recognize you. What's your name? Jim Lucas. Jim Lucas. Where are you coming from? Just walking. You weren't driving a van? No. No van. No van? You no sure? Van. I don't no drive a van. van. Okay. Let's step over here. Where, where, do you live, where are you living at? You just out for a walk? Mm hmm Okay. You didn't see a van go by with no tires on it? I have no van. No van. Okay. All right. I mean, you've been drinking, so that's why we're, well, I'm asking you, because we got somebody that's apparently driving around with no tires on a van, and then we've got you stumbling around out here. I have no van. Okay. 110, come over here. Hang tight, Jim, all right? <clears throat> Howdy, Mr. Lucas. There's no saying. I, I, I volunteered this. I know yep. you did, but one... Well, be one, careful. I, I, I know, can say I know it, is. it, I know it, it is. has a round the chamber. It's, it's no good, good otherwise. It's going to be in the roadway or the guardrail. Hey, uh, I'm 2A all the way, baby. Negative. I have, vehicle just uh, FYI, a knife in my back pocket. Okay. If you don't mind, please. I appreciate you letting us know. Back pocket right here. Ooh, spider coat. A, a, a man of taste. Oh, I like it. I can have spider coat. Make sure you register there. Davis, I'm going to have you pop out of the road and go ahead. He's going to sit that in his front seat. That's what I told you guys. Okay. You guys feel good. Hey, we appreciate it. Communication is key, right? Absolutely. I'm not reaching in my pocket. I mean, you guys are oh, yeah, for sure. Hey. How's it going, man? Good, man. How are you? Not too bad. He's been red and doesn't want to talk. Okay. Yep. Uh, where's the car at? Car's on the other side. The other, yeah, yeah, the other uh, ISP units over there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do uh, you want to go to your car, man? I'll do whatever you guys want. Tell me. All right. I'll take him back to the car. Sure, I have his gun right. and his knife from the car. All right, so, so when you don't have any weapons on you or anything? No, they took I volunteered them. They took Oh, it. no, I just want to make sure you're done. No, no, no. no, no. I've had him down, but I took his weapons away. It's just what I do whenever we put people in a car, you know what I'm saying? That's why I volunteered him. I, okay. I get it. Very good. All right, let's go to your car, man. Uh, you're right with me, though. Uh, like I said, he checked you with weapons. He'll follow me with your stuff, right? Uh, unless you got some place you need to get to. No, you're okay. good. Yeah, I can follow you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
around for you. Okay. I'll bring it to my son. Does he have it now? Yep, he's got it. And the knife? And the knife. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. My corporal is right there, so he'll let you know too. Yep, you're good. Mr. Lucas had the smell of alcohol on him and was taken to a local hospital for a blood draw. According to the probable cause affidavit, he failed several field sobriety tests. A portable breath test registered .097 above the legal limit. Additionally, a police officer found a badly damaged truck parked behind a local carpet and flooring business on State Road 11, north of Seymour. Mr. Lucas will be placed on supervised probation for one year. Mr. Lucas was sentenced to 60 days in jail for OWI and 180 days for leaving the scene of an accident, but both sentences were suspended. It's humbling for the cops to interact with higher authority when they try to cross their bounds. If you enjoyed the videos, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.